What's up, Rockstars? Today I have the pleasure of unboxing a very cool prototype. This is from Mythic Games, which normally don't even do prototypes, but I'm going to show you this. I'm excited to see what it looks like. This is the one based off of the very, very popular video game, Rainbow Six Siege. So that's, that's a Tom Clancy title. This is an IP game. We're going to dive into it right now. Now, as always, as I unbox this and take everything out, and don't worry, we'll look at a, a very close-up overhead view in just a moment, I wanted to thank my patrons and YouTube members. It is through their financial support that videos just like this are possible. I stay completely independent from the video game companies so that I can speak my mind and speak freely and honestly, so you hear my opinion and not my wallet's opinion because nobody's paying me for it that is interested in how I feel about this game. And that's a great thing. So I take no money from any game developer and instead Instead, this is a community-run channel with a few sponsors that are outside the game industry. If you appreciate that level of honesty in board game coverage, there's a link down below that you can give. I greatly appreciate it. If not, that's fine. A like, a subscribe, uh, a, a, even a comment saying this video was helpful helps a lot. I do these videos for you, and so as long as I know that they're helpful, I'll keep on doing them. Okay, so we just got kind of basic padding here by the looks of it. Make sure I don't think there's anything in these. <laughs> I don't think so. I think we're good. Um, pretty organized here. So let's see. We got just some more spacing. This is empty. All right. And here it is. All right. There you can see it. Okay. Let's go ahead and take things out. And then again, we're going to go in the overhead view in just a moment. Now there is a timestamp if that's all you want to see. I'm going to go ahead and comment on the box and everything else and the general design and kind of what's there. Now, I was told, this is squeaky, I was told that um, this is not a com the complete, even like core box, but it's enough to kind of give me a sense of how the game plays so I can talk about it to you guys. And that's hugely beneficial. For a long time, I didn't accept prototypes on Kickstarters because, you know, at, at the end of the day, that does start to, you know, possibly have kind of a conflict of interest, right? Because, oh, what if I see something bad and they don't give it to me again? Well, then I'll say that and then they'll get in trouble or, you know, or no, nobody will care or whatever. I have dogged on a few prototypes in my day. It's never a pretty sight, but sometimes it has to be done. Um, but no, it, it's it, it's nice because I can tell you exactly what I think about a board game when they're asking you for the money. And that's hugely beneficial. Uh, so instead of afterwards, after they've already gotten everybody's money, for, to me, then say, hey, it sucked. You know, like, I'd rather you guys know better going into it because... What I'm all about here is being a more informed consumer myself, and I hope I can help you guys do that too, so that they don't just get backers, but get, they get backers that want that are, well, love the game. Nobody wants to have a bunch of backers and then a whole bunch of stuff uploaded for sale right afterwards because nobody actually is happy with it. You need, you need backers that uh, that are happy with it, but I think, I think I'm going to be happy with this. This is looking good so far. So, again, nice kind of clean design, right? You just got the six here and then the board game. It's definitely assuming you know... Um, what this means, right? This is definitely kind of upfront about that. There's no, I don't even see Tom Clancy's name on here. You do see Ubisoft here. And then two to four players, 14 plus 60 minutes, but otherwise just a splash of color in the corners, and that's really it. The back is just black as well. I don't want to tip it over because a lot of times these are pretty loose in there. So let's go ahead. Oh, based on the Ubisoft scheme, Tom Clancy, Room six each. Maybe I should read. <laughs> okay, and we got a letter here. Top secret. <clears throat> May 7th, 2021. It's been three years after the Rainbow's program's deactivation, but desperate times need desperate measures. Terrorist activities have been multiplying, and the White Mask is now the most prominent threat we have to face. The terrorist goals are unknown, yet they are causing chaos across the world. That leaves us no option but to activate the program again. This is Six, and I'm here to lead you to the most thrilling mission you've ever been. Welcome to the Rainbow Team, Operator. In, the, in this box, you will find everything you need to start, you will be receiving an email with further instructions on how to proceed. Six, over and out. <laughs> I like it. Uh, that, that, that's fun. It's a little little theme there. And honestly, any kind of email helping explain what's in this prototype can help uh, for sure. I'm seeing some exciting stuff. So I'm assuming this is minis. Yes. Okay, so we will look at this in the top-down view. Then, in the box, it's just all loose. There's no organizer really here, but we do a lot. We got lots of baggies. A whole bunch of 3D elements here that I'm seeing. A lot of standees, 
uh, for different things here and then some wooden pieces. We'll take a look at those. Um, a lot more wooden pieces and looks like smoke grenade clouds and uh, looks like a, a hero cards that are like really small, uh, like a, a hero board, I should say. So that's kind of interesting. All right, we got some more standees there. Uh, we, it looks like we do have maybe some breakable terrain. That'd be very nice to see. That'd be very fitting. A lot of 3D elements. I'm telling you that right now. We even have, we even have like a little hero quest style kind of, uh, here's a pool table. And then here's a, uh, uh, some kind of desk of some kind. We got some more stuff here. Oh man, we got all sorts of stuff. This looks like it was originally this right here. Kind of an L-shaped desk. I used to have one of those. Okay, that's not quick on, but like that. Got uh, some round ones, like a little table and stuff. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of that kind of stuff, which is cool, which is cool. And then got some trays, measurement sticks. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. Guess we'll find out. All right, and then we have the game board. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this now because it's easier in this view. Then we're gonna go into the top level and we'll look at all this stuff in detail. Get out of here. All right, so not double sided. Uh, glue job actually looks quite nice. This is uh, pretty thick too, which is nice. So it's good to see some quality. It looks like the color is good too. Sometimes prototypes can be really dark. So it's really good it's not. So there's, there's the map. Hopefully it's right set up for you guys. I don't know if there is a right setup. It is. There you go. All right. So I'll look at that too. I just saw the back side of it. But for now, let's go ahead and swap. I'll see you on the other side. Oh, and before I forget, uh, I am saving up for another camera plus the hookup and system. I want one that's kind of overhead that can come down so that there's just a camera face and not a tripod and a camera in my face and with another camera. Uh, the patrons helped pay for this camera and they will pay for the next one too. So again, I greatly appreciate all of those uh, all of those donations because they're very, very generous and it allows me to be able to make the channel better and then I don't have to go get up there and get the camera and then come set it up here and then start recording and do that for every single boss thing. It'd be nice to have kind of a little bit of a more permanent setup and to a two camera system. I could hot swap between them so you guys can see my reaction and see the components. Maybe even do my reaction in the corners. I, I don't know. We'll figure it all out. Anyway, just, just want to say thank you and definitely working on it. All right, let's dive in now. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Let's see what we got here. All right, there's that letter. I'll get this out of the way so it's not reflecting. I'll put it down on the ground. All right. Now, <laughs> as you can see, a whole bunch of baggies of stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and put this to the side a little bit. And we will start looking at this. Let's see here. Individual bags. Here is the defenders, and then we have the general supply. That's nice that it's labeled actually. Attackers. We'll look at them next. How about that? Let's look at the defenders. Okay. So interesting enough, you get. A fairly small card here. It looks like there's actually kind of a. Uh, it looks like they tried to get rid of that, right? So there was some kind of issue there. So just don't pay attention to that. It's not part of the thing. It's just them kind of correcting it a little bit. Uh, very cool uh, shape. I really appreciate that. So we got mute, right, with a little, <laughs> the little X on there. Um, we also got smoke, and we got pulse, and we have bandit, and we have. Jaeger. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we got weapons where we got range. Uh, and then I'm assuming uh, the dice he rolls at different ranges. So at one to three, he rolls a two red, a orange, and a yellow. Maybe that's re rollable. I'm not sure. Well, I'll find out and obviously tell you guys in the review. Um, I will say right now, I'd love the color to be different. The color is a little. Um, as, a, as somebody who's colorblind, uh, the red and the orange look fairly close. They're not, 
but they look fairly close. Closer than I'd like. I like it just to be super easy, like this stark of a difference in between them if I can. Uh, the run of two uh, destroys a five armor, and then kind of some uh, signal disruptors and some setup that he gets to do, some special things. And then, of course, when he's uh, not doing so hot, he's over here. So <laughs> um, each person looks like gets a um, d some different tokens for them. They're just kind of to them. And then it looks like he gets these, uh, is that C4? Can't quite tell. I guess we'll find out. Um, not C4. How um, uh, uh, oh, you, you stick it in there and it has little lasers and... Gosh, why can't I think of the name? Whatever. It's because I'm on camera, so I'm going to look like an idiot. That's all. <laughs> that's all. You want to say Caltrops? That's not it. <laughs> Whatever. You guys know what I mean. All right, I'm going to interrupt the video to thank my sponsor, Skillshare. Now, I know it's an awesome video, and you're super excited to get to the rest of it, so I'll be brief here, I promise. Uh, there is a link down below to a free trial of their premium membership for the first thousand people, So uh, and then it's gone, okay? And so... You can go down there, you can click the link, you get it in for free, and you can, you know, join me on what I watch or watch whatever. There's tons of stuff. I've never searched anything and not gotten results. So anyway, I personally actually subscribe to this, and the reason is because I find it um, really beneficial when I actually need to learn something. So we have YouTube, and we have online sources where we can go, and people can teach us stuff for free, and that's great, and that's awesome. Uh, Skillshare is kind of like a cut above that I have found personally. Um, I've had professors do videos, uh, just industry experts with a lot of years of experience. Really, the the focus and the style is a little bit different. Um, and that's not including, you know, they, they have like reviews and discussions and projects you can do and stuff like that. And you can break down and exactly, like it, it puts timestamps on YouTube out of, blow them out of the water with this, where you can actually really kind of d dive into specific topics. Um, it just, it, it's really, really helpful um, to, if you're actually trying to learn something. And I've I've, I've enjoyed it a lot. As you guys know, I do not use scripts. Um, for better or worse. I think for the better-ish. I did until I saw How to Speak Confidently on Camera, a guide for content creators. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are either, you know, dilly-dally or, you know, just kind of have fun with the channel or have thought about it or anything like that. And this guy talks about how, like, just in our digital age, it's a very useful thing to do. Uh, you might be called to do it for work or you might in the future to do it or, you know, whatever it is, uh, you get a lot of other skills too, like connecting ideas and flow and stuff like that. Um, but I wanted to point out the scripting part particularly. Uh, he talks about acting like you're talking to your friend. And I don't know if acting is the right word there. Um, but as you guys know, I use my plain speech. I'm not, I'm not, you know, anything fancy here. I'm just having a conversation with you guys. And that's what I think. I don't, like, you guys don't have faces, if that makes sense. I hope, hopefully I have a face when you think of me. Um, but I, I'm not talking to a camera that's against my wall in a room alone at night. That'd be weird. <laughs> I'm talking to you guys. And uh, I hope you're doing well, by the way. With the scripting part, what he talks about here is really, really good. It's right around in the middle here, at about 4 minutes and 21 seconds in. Um, he talks about how um, it kind of gives him a free rehearsal. That he doesn't have to follow the script. He writes, like, the whole script. And he does that. Uh, and some, some parts he'll do less or more, just depending, right? Um... And he can reference it if needed, like it's a it's a it's a crutch he can rely on as needed. But for the most part, he just reads it right before filming, and then he goes and films. But he, the only reason he reads it once is because he put the time in to actually write it down. And it kind of reminded me of taking notes in class, where you can listen to the teacher, but if you're actually with your hand, like writing something down, you remember it better. At least it always worked for me that way. Um, I might try this. It is a lot more time investment for sure. Um, but I hope it allows me to improve what I do here, uh, to be able to stay on topic a little bit more, to make sure I say what I want to say. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I forgot to mention that. I've done a review. You know how bad it is to forget to write something down in a review just because I was busy ranting about an index or some stupid junk like that. You guys, this Skillshare has helped me immensely in all parts of my life. Uh, whether it's exercise, whether it's video editing, whether it's learning a new program or a new skill or painting or taking photographs of like minis and stuff, right? Like so much has gone into this that I, I just, I really, really 
believe in it. And that's why I accept them as a sponsor. There's a lot of people that ask. I do not say yes to everyone. Skillshare is definitely one that I uh, choose to uh, participate with. And so there is that link down below. Feel free to, again, you'll get a, uh, a free membership trial there. And, and if you do actually subscribe, it's like less than 10 bucks a month. Like it, it's super cheap. Uh, honestly, I can not eat at McDonald's and watch Skillshare just fine. Uh, in fact, I'll save money doing it too. And I'll learn a lot to begin with. So if you are interested, again, there is a link down below. Thank you for sponsoring uh, Skillshare. Uh, so this video can uh, just be everything it can be. And again, it's always great to offer you guys cool free stuff. So there you go. All right, let's get back to that awesome, awesome video. You guys don't know. I used to use this all the time in a Battlefield 2 back in the day if you guys can remember back then was some good times uh so yeah castle here gets a whole bunch of different stuff which is cool so i'm not gonna open each and every single one uh, but as you can see they all kind of come with some unique stuff which is pretty cool okay that's the defenders i'm just gonna get all sorts of organ organized here so i'm not spending time organizing on camera and then we have the attackers and they have a Tactical inventory where they get to take different stuff, including drones, frag grenades, smoke grenades, claymore, claymore, that's what I meant. Uh, stun grenade and breach charges. Now they are not individually packaged here. It looks like you probably uh, base it based off their equipment. So they're a little bit more uh, unique here and that they can, you know, they're, they're not stuck with one thing or another here. So we got blitz here and as you can see, same kind of stuff. Um, he has flash shield charges and then there's Ash and IQ and Thermite, Thatcher and Sledge. And it looks like here you have some smoke, which is cool to get it all 3D like this. I don't know if they plan on maybe making these as miniatures, um, but either way, that's very nice to be able to actually put. Well, again, a lot, a lot of 3D presence on the board here for this which is super awesome uh really like seeing that a lot this this is gonna be cool i can already tell all right here we'll keep that built over here that's fine okay we got more we got plenty more let's take a look let's take a look i'm actually kind of glad all these are already stuck on uh on stands <laughs> otherwise i'd have to do it <laughs> That some other sucker had to. That's a cool token. Don't know what it means. Maybe a reroll or something, or a share dice, or I don't know. God only knows. All right, all right. There's them. General supply. What do we have in the general supply store? Got some dice here. Uh, these are just wooden ones for the prototype. But as you can see, they're just kind of a basic pip style, but instead they use bullets, so still kind of themed. Uh, the color changes on these are a lot more noticeable. Uh, we got some silver cubes. Got some broken walls, which is super kind of cool. Looks like you maybe uh, uh, a little, little one person versus two person or something like that. Not sure how they're going to distinguish all that kind of stuff. And then it looks like some kind of neat uh, maybe armor piercing stuff, something like that, I don't know, very spiky, uh, which is very nice. They definitely look unique here, that's for sure. Very, very interesting stuff. So that's general supply. Do, 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 Dropped that. Dropped it, where'd it go? There it is. Disguised as a broken wall. Then we got setup. Oh, I'm going to regret dumping that. <laughs> okay, so we got the different kind of numbered stuff, and then civilians and whatnot, and then a nice fat little wooden disc there. Got some security cameras. Uh, you can probably hack into, I'm assuming. You got just different uh, kind of barriers that it looks like you can set up, either higher ones or lower ones. I don't know why that's like this. Maybe this didn't mean... No, no they're both like that, so... Don't know what each one's going to do, necessarily, or... Kind of how they they operate, why they're locked in like that, um, but they are. So there's that. Maybe it's no, it's not even to hook into. I don't know. I don't know. 
And then looks like we got some barbed wire as well. But not a whole lot of that, just a little bit. Don't wanna go crazy with the barbed wire. Never go crazy with barbed wire. Uh, that's, that's something I, I just knew growing up. And if you're gonna go crazy with something, it should not be barbed wire. All right, got that. One more baggie. Defenders, this is, oh, okay, here's our tactical inventory. That makes more sense. Um, so that they can, can pick their own stuff there too. I'm not even going to bother really opening it. Looks like it's more or less the same kind of stuff. Just different for them. Okay, we got uh, cool little these things, and then we got minis. We're going to go and zoom in for these though. All right, so as you can see, they actually look quite nice. And if they're this thick in the end, that's going to be great because this is already not final, like, yeah, you know, production. You, know, uh, you see how my fingers are getting a little dirty. Um, <laughs> this is not how it'll be in the final version when it comes to quality. It's going to get better. A little pool table here. The fact that the bottom of it's that's kind of funny, but this is going to look so freaking sweet. It's going to look nice. Uh, a little kind of like kitchen area. And you got different uh, different crates and boxes and stuff like that. Oh, it's going to be so cool. I freaking I am a whore for uh terrain i'm a terrain whore i love it i'll i'll do all sorts of stuff to get some nice terrain i love terrain uh love it love it love it this is great i love the little stuff on the table that you can see right just the, the different things there the l-shaped desk is quite nice i really dig that looks super executive a little non-executive looking thing there and Filing cabinet, and then it looks like I'm missing one, maybe, don't know where. Anyway, this can go here. Sure, sure, why not? Come on. We're going to have this all built, don't you worry about it. And this can go right here. I'm not missing one, other one's right here. I see it. You don't have to tell me. I see it. Putting this together right now. All right, so we got that. Oh, come on. Come on. Come to daddy. <laughs> there we go. Again, I'm sure this will be a little bit nicer in the final version. We'll get your hands all dirty either. <laughs> Hopefully not. All right, all right, all right, all right. We got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, all right, there we go. Now they're all built. Now shove them aside. <laughs> and let's look at a little bit of the map actually and then we'll look at minis i know such a geez. ah jeez that's loud i forgot those were in there i don't know what these are for they're they're like what like my first grade teacher would have spanked us with in school <laughs> that's a mean looking ruler okay i'm not going to open this up full i'm just going to look here but i will say i like the squares um this notice it's brighter here than here so they're they're kind of being smart about it as well they're not having these bright lights where just on the outskirts there. Um, I like the perspective. Uh, so you still get to see some of the walls here, but notice you don't see this side of the wall, it's just that side of the wall. So it really gives you a nice forced perspective here. The uh, addition of light is helpful and helps the windows stand out as opposed to just being glowy there. Also, we got some symbols on a few different things here, some dotted lines, um, definitely digital art, but honestly, and it looks like we got parts for different uh, pieces to be in different locations, which is nice as well. Uh, maybe some barricades here and stuff that you can build. Uh, again, I'll take a look at what all these things do and how they work, but super cool. I actually think it looks quite nice. All right, but what we all care about here. We all wanna see, let's look at some minis. I'm excited to show these off. All right, ta-da. Oh, look at that black, that is nice, I like it. Ooh, that is some nice black. We got the lock on trays here. I'll kind of show what that's about here in a second too. Move this aside. So on here, you'll see a little kind of dimple here. See that? And what that does is it slots right into a little dimple here. <laughs> it went away. And that just kind of puts a little bit of pressure on there and helps it stay closed. Okay. So right off the bat, I can say I really like this idea of, come on, um, having the name here. I think that's super cool. So as you can see, they will eventually fit in there a lot nicer, I think, than this. This is quite loose, but again, prototype. This is a resin print here, obviously. 
um, uh, is a is a printer cat. It's a print. I can see some of the the, the posts there. So, um, you know, not not final, of course. And then we have some other little exclamation marks here uh, in case somebody sees Solid Snake. We have some uh, location icons here, which uh, I think we all recognize. It's kind of cool. And we've got these little doohickeys here, which I'm not quite sure what those are yet. But let's go ahead and actually dive into these minis one at a time. We're going to take a look. We're going to take a look. We're going to zoom in a little bit. And let's look. Oh, already an interesting. Already interesting. We're going to look at the Defenders first. These are great looking pro prototypes, that's for sure. Okay, we're going to manually zoom. Otherwise that black is gonna kill my zoom. Okay, all right, let's take a look. And we're gonna take her out of this. this, is Bandit. And as you can see, where's my pointy stick? Need the royal rod, I got that. Um, so uh, yeah, you, as you can see, the eyes and the mask look cool. Uh, a kneeling pose, which is very interesting, always is when it's a, uh, you know, kneeling like that. Uh, the bottom of the foot is not textured, at least not right now. Uh, helmet looks really nice and crisp, so I appreciate that. All the different layers on the tactical gear look good. The patches look good. The gun looks good. Again, this is, um, you know, a, a resin, so it's a little bit nicer than we'll get. But, but, uh, knowing Mythic Games, they make some top tier miniatures. Definitely one of the best in the industry. Uh, I have no doubt those are going to be great. All right, next up we have Castle here. And again, looking great. I love the layers. You'll see this is almost a little exaggerated, and that's actually a good thing. I want to see a little bit of exaggeration because what this will do is... Let me make sure it's focused on the mini there. There we go. Uh, what this will do is when this is actually used as like a master resin print, right, where they actually make the molds, uh, the plastic will shrink ever so slightly, so you want it to look kind of good. But the guns look great. All times guns look very flat and boring. These look good. They got some good texture, some good changes there. The goggles actually look great. Glasses are hard to do on minis to make them look good, but that looks good. I dig that. It's even got like, the clasp where he'd put the helmet on. Um, some very nice kind of wrinkles, and you can see the boot underneath. And there's just all kinds of, I think, nice little touches here. Very, very nice looking. Uh, yeah, no, these, these are, these are, these are great. Okay, I think what I'm going to do here is actually, let's go ahead and just critique them like this. I think that will actually be kind of nice. And I can pop them out kind of as, as we go along here. So next up is Jaeger. He's got the drone, obviously, which is, I think, again, very neat. Oh, come on. <laughs> Quite uh, I, I, again, the poses here are just really fantastic, really, really good. Uh, really appreciate how nice those look. The guns look, I mean, they're they're stellar, the best guns I've ever seen on when they're this big. <laughs> no, it looks great. Uh, the color of the minis are cool too. I don't know how much they'll stay like this, but I appreciate that. Uh, love. This one again. Look at the um, just the personality here uh, for mute. He's kind of giving the shush symbol. His finger is separate. No mitten hands there. He's holding his gun with his with his hand still, but it's it's like resting inside of his arm here. What a great unique pose. I really, really, really like that. These bands are nice and crisp too. This is gonna look great in final production plastic. No doubt about it. Based off what I'm seeing here, they're doing everything exactly how they should. Again, uh, maybe slightly exaggerated, and again, that is on purpose. Um, not that I, I think with how hard of a plastic they use, I doubt there's a lot of shrinkage involved anyway, but those, there's always going to be a little bit. Oh, this looks good. Freaking Psycho Mantis mask. Love it. It's got the little kind of Uzi and a, and a grenade ready, and just fantastic looking you can see his little holster with his gun there and it the barrels coming out too which is nice even the freaking laces these look great these look great again i didn't really have any doubts with mythic games but these are quite nice look at this again love it um love that he's bald love that he's kind of looking into this but still has his gun kind of at the ready uh you can kind of tell he's a professional right um again just looks great uh, really, really happy to see all this again. The holster, same kind of thing there. Uh, just as before. Yeah, no, that, I really, really like it. That's great. Okay, let's go and look at some of the attackers. 
So I ran out with Blitz because he's got a freaking shield sideways, uh, which I appreciate. When I played the Division uh, 1, I was all about the shield Uzi mix. He's got a pistol. That's fine. That's whatever. Uh, that makes sense. This has been used a few times already, I can tell. Um, it'd be great to paint on some cracks on the little window there. I think that'd be freaking sweet. Uh, that'd be super cool. <laughs> uh, good luck doing that. That'd be kind of hard. Again, same with this visor there. That's kind of the hard part. It looks like you can actually see, at least right now, his, like, the side of his face in there, which is, yeah, and you kind of can where it's strapped on there. Super cool. Great attention to detail. Really impressed with all this. Really, really am. These are some great poses. You know, you would think, oh, they're just going to like army men, but I didn't have any army men that look like this. I can tell you that much. Um, again, these are really good. Uh, the only thing I like to maybe see a little bit more of is some more defined, uh, looks like he's just wearing shoes, but more de definition on the bottom of the feet. And there's a lot of them showing and I'd like to see a little bit more there perhaps, but, uh, again, I love his kind of mask that he's wearing here and his little flip out, uh, communicator there <laughs> looking good as well. Okay. This is not a, this is like a squatting mini, which you don't see a lot of. And you always want to make sure it doesn't look like they're going to be taking a poop. <laughs> you know, like a squat. Uh, this one, I think, does a good job avoiding that. Two different guns. Love the hair kind of coming down. And again, the glasses actually look good. Uh, this is some stellar, really nice detail there. I don't even know what that is, but it looks nice. I can tell you that much. <laughs> Looking good. Looking good. Let's get a little sledge here. I know my wife will play sledge. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Got him out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, that's awesome. Love it. Again, he's got the sledge plus the guns here, uh, plus a whole bunch of other stuff that, I, again, I really like. See, look at the wire on there. Now, again, a lot of this is resin, right? So you do have to keep that in mind, right? This is about as good as it gets. It will be slightly not as good. Um, and there might be some changes. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this is filled in a little bit. Um, but again, we'll see. We'll see how the final one looks. Love the straps everywhere. Love, I mean, it just, there's so much texture everywhere. It really uh, makes them look, you know, uh, like uh, like an elite unit, as as they should, I think. Um, and love the mask. That's super cool. Love that he's looking down the sights. Uh, that's, I think, great look in there. I think it's a very cool look. Really appreciate that he's doing that. I think it looks awesome. Uh, the assembly here is actually quite good, so happy about that as well. He's got far less on his back than the other guys. But again, uh, I love how he's kind of advancing too, right? But he's not just, um, it looks like he's probably sweeping while moving. So he's actually turned to the side a little bit. He's not facing straight forward, as you can see. Just a more natural, less rigid pose, which is nice. And finally, we got Thermite for the last one here. And uh, again, always love the... Uh, uh, various you know grenades or switches or anything that they're holding i just think it's kind of interesting um the goggles here are kind of a little interesting they're they're, they're a little bit thicker than maybe i was expecting but man look at that he's got like a nose and a chin and everything my goodness love his backpack um i love that you got a connection point here in a smart way so you can still have the gap here so it's not like flat to them but it's still secure and not gonna flimsy there very smart miniature design uh, and just, a, and just a pleasure to look at too. I mean, obviously. So, okay. That is the prototype for six siege, uh, the board game by mythic games. Really excited to look into this. I will go ahead and check this out. I will go ahead and, uh, do a review. I'll let you guys know what I think, uh, very soon. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe. And now that the video is over, if you watch the whole thing, if you appreciate it, if you liked seeing this, uh, go ahead and leave a like on your way out and leave any comments. If you have any questions, you guys know I'll be down there trying my best to answer or get the answer for you uh, from Leo and co as I uh, chat with them when I can. So, all right. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, really appreciate you guys being here and I'll talk to you guys again really soon.